Binance is the world's leading cryptocurrency exchange, but we aspire to much more. Our vision is of a world where your money is free. That means freedom of choice, exchange, and transaction. That's why, with the Binance Decentralized Exchange, fiat on-ramps around the globe, and an entire blockchain ecosystem fueled by Binance Chain, we're working to bring the freedom of money to anyone, anywhere. Binance. Exchange the world. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. I want to pull the f*** up. Well, I'm a girlfriend. Who is your girlfriend? A ring, bitch. You, you, I'm, I'm the... Y'all engaged? Hey, yo, it's your boy, Peter Pinky, and you're watching another incredible episode of Cheaters. Please meet LaShawn Hudson, a woman who wants to know why her lady's been so incommunicado. Unsure her commitment's on the level, LaShawn hits some cheaters for an in-depth investigation. Chatel and I first met at my job. Um, I'm a retail store manager. And so when she first came in the store, my employees were telling me like, hey, we have a Karen over here. And so of course they were trying to make me take care of her. And the more that I was helping her, I noticed that she was kind of, you know, kind of flirting a little bit. And she's a very attractive girl. And so I started flirting back and it eventually led to me asking her for her number and she gave it to me. What's really big for me, my family loves her. Um, I, I barely introduce anybody to my family. And so for that, and especially, you know, being a girl, it, it took a lot. And so that makes me just feel even better. And that's how I know she's the one for me. So recently, Chatel has been working more doubles than usually. And so we haven't really been having a lot of time to spend with each other like we typically do. Um, and so that's kind of a concern that is, you know, coming up recently. Chatel Murphy, age 26, a waitress suspected of serving up a little something on the side. A few hours into their shift, PIs on patrol spot suspect Chatel Murphy exit the premises and hike to her vehicle. Once inside, Ms. Murphy makes tracks, hustling down the local thoroughfare. Agents tail the suspect to a nearby fitness center, where she power walks her way into the arms of an unknown female. The suspect and her companion head inside to get pumped. Riding an endorphin high, the euphoric duo exits hand in hand. Arriving at the suspect's vehicle, the two hug goodbye and go their separate ways, ending the day's inquiry. What first made me think that Chatel may be cheating on me was one day I was doing the laundry and I noticed one of her tank tops had this lipstick stain on it. And I know it's not a color that I own and I've never seen her in that color before. Um, and, you know, I casually brought it up in a conversation one day and she she denied it. She said that it was a new lipstick she bought, but I don't believe it. And so later that day, she got home like at three in the morning. And so while she was asleep, I went to her car. I went to the car, I found a pair of glasses in the middle console. Chatel doesn't wear glasses, I don't wear glasses. And so suddenly Chatel has this new urge to work out all the time. Uh, she doesn't invite me. I want to work out too. That could be time we could be spending together. And so the other day when I was doing her laundry again, I see some little ass clothes in a gym bag. You can't wear that. Detectives on duty catch a glimpse of suspect Murphy as she emerges wearing workout gear that's on fleek. Following a familiar path, the suspect arrives at the fitness center from prior surveillance. After pulling in, Murphy is met once again by her companion, now known as personal trainer Camille Jones. The pair shares their intimate embrace. With their heart rates now elevated, the duo ducks inside to work up a sweat. As suspect Murphy pushes her limits, her persnickety partner preaches proper form. The couple adjourns to the suspect's SUV. Cheaters Ops tracks suspect Murphy as she returns home to a lovesick LaShawn. So I just really hope that it's me tripping and she's not cheating on me. Because at the end of the day, I do love Chatel. I love her. I know she loves me. I mean, we've been together for two years. We started building a life together. 
And so I just really hope that, you know, it's not true. Detectives spy suspect Murphy as she strolls to her SUV and departs the scene. Within moments of arrival, the suspect meets up with her paramour in the parking lot. Flexing her muscle, suspect Murphy wraps her clandestine cutie in a bear hug before the set strides inside. While Murphy harnesses her power, companion Jones displays her hands-on training style. Exhausted from exertion, the duo dismounts and hit the locker room. Taking personal training to a new level, companion Jones joins Murphy in the shower. Now with the day and their deeds washed away, the lovebirds return to their vehicles, where they share one last tender embrace. With the last bit of evidence in place, Cheater's operatives return to the command center. Nankins. Cheetah's contacts LaShawn to display her disloyalty. Eager to solve the mystery, LaShawn sets aside her sorrow to study the surveillance. Hey, LaShawn. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing okay. I know things could be better. Yeah. Sure. Contact the Cheetahs for a reason. Yeah. Wonder what Chattel is doing. Yes. Know our team. They are the best. When they look, they find. That's why I want you to be sure. You want to see it? Yeah. I, I need to know the truth. All right, LaShawn. So now, on this day of our investigation, we're at your home. Drives off. Team is on her. She arrives at a gym. Ooh. Walks in. This young lady right here. Let Who me is pause that? that. Are you familiar with her before I keep going? No. Mm -mm. But this way it gets a little interesting. They come out holding hands. She returns home. Now, on this day of our investigation, we're back at your place. Follow her again. She arrives back at the gym. Never. Oh, that's, that's that bitch again. Same chick. We put the spy cameras on them. They inside, working out. Now, this phone call right here, right? Mm hmm You may be familiar with it. But I need you to listen to it and listen to it carefully. Hello? Hello? Hey, Lay, what are you doing? I'm at the mall with my mom, getting some Christmas shopping done. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you want to get some lunch later? Um, I might be a little bit busy. Depends on what time I leave the mall with my mom. Oh, okay. Well, just text me and let me know when you're finished, and then we can go uh, later for dinner. Okay, I'll let you know. All right, love you, babe. Do you remember that phone conversation? Yes, I did. So she lied? Yeah, she said she's with her mom, and she's with the same young lady that we've been tracking her with. A little bit more. We're going to move forward. You you good? Not really, but just just go ahead. Yeah, get yeah, it yeah, over. No, no, no. Now, on this day of our investigation, we are outside your crib, gets in the car, same old routine. This is where it gets extremely interesting. After they work out, they get in the shower together. Stay in there, we film it, they come out. No, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. Cause she got me up. We know where they are right now. I'm over it. So you wanna pull up? I wanna pull up. All right, let's go. Sean, how you feeling? I don't know how I feel. A little crazy right now, right? Yes. You followed him. She's at the young lady's house you saw at the gym. But we here now. Get your answers. Don't yell. Just be like, what's up? Why? <laughs> hey, your car's being towed. Yeah, yeah. Bitch, what the f are you doing? You doing Who is this? The, Hold up, what, what the f you got on? Who is she? Chattel. What? What the f you, you got on? Who the f is this? Right. Who, they live you? Together. Who are you? Who? I'm her girlfriend. This is who is your girlfriend? Who is you? That's my girlfriend. We live together. <laughs> Since when? You, she told me she had to tell you, man. Go for her. Bitch, where are you going? Mm -hmm. We've been watching, and your, you guys have been at the gym. She told Heavy. me that she was single. Sure. Only person, she had a roommate. That was about it. Who is this hoe? Why you? See, you ain't doing too damn much. You got everybody off Bitch, you're doing too much. If you want to talk about it, we could have talked about it. We've been together. Who is that? Is this your trainer? We've been together for six months. 
All right, so y'all intimate and all that. This is she's not crazy. I'm not crazy. Mm -hmm. Teaming, okay. What have I done to deserve this? You don't do nothing for me. I don't what do I say, nothing. What did I say? I said let's go to the gym. Let's do. You something. ain't never you asked me to go to the gym. Yes, I have. When never. Did, when did you want to? I said let's go to the gym and let's you work out. You never asked me. Doing nothing and then when I called me. you, oh, you were shopping with your mom. I was. But you was with that bitch. I was shopping with my mama. Really? I was. Bitch, don't. You got me Le up. Lashawn, listen. She straight up, she she straight up gave it up. That's she saying this. Oh, oh been, so you got flowers? They've been rocking together for You got that bitch flowers? Coming so up. we live together. Who so, so how long have y'all been talking? Six what's months, your name? Six months. I'm what's Camille. your name? What's your name? My name is LaShawn. She told me that she had a roommate. That's about it. It's you a liar. It's, uh, it's over. You a liar, I'm not, I'm not, I was telling You're you. You a liar. Get all me. your s*** out of my mother house. You want to be with this bitch? Hold on, We've been watching you, though. Is, I mean, we can go through this, so you can just give it up. But you got these people watching me. What did you lie? And I you was at, you you. Was at the girl, uh, at you Christmas shopping with your mom. Come on now. <sighs> See, ooh, uh, Camille, come here, Camille. Oh, so you gonna call that bitch? But let me stand in here. So, tell, wait, 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 wait. Nah, you can have her. Hold on, wait, wait. You can have her. Let's do this. She's she yours. Go. What do she you want to do? You got his lying what ass you, bitch. What do you want to do? Lying ass bitch. You a lying hold ass wait. bitch. Lying ass bitch. Yes. LaShawn, look, Come on, LaShawn. lying ass bitch. Bitch, you here with her. LaShawn, hold Okay, so what? Go. You ain't been here for me? Really? You, you got all this slutty ass lingerie? Okay, so when is LaShawn not interrupting y'all sexy time, bitch? Okay, when is LaShawn not interrupting y'all for me? She gave you a ring? She gave me a ring. She did. Bitch. She did. You, you, I'm I'm done. Y'all engaged? You crossed the line. Was, hold on, let me, hold on, let me talk to you. Hold on. We talked about getting married, but you, you got, got this with your ring. If you had to leave right now with one, I mean, can we talk about it with no? What is it? What is it to talk about? What is this? Is embarrassing, but you got me on TV acting stupid. You don't trust me. Wait, 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 Peter, I'm trying to. Say it, love. It would be that simple. I'm trying to give her the answer. Done. I want to talk to her about. Done. So you just gonna walk off? Yes. Two years? Bitch, two, two years. years. You've been engaged to this bitch that you met six months ago. I'm over it. We're done. Get your. What you want to do? Okay, you ain't got to follow me out the, the door. door. I, bitch, don't tell me when to leave. I'll leave when I want to leave. The Door. I'll leave when I want it's to open. leave. You can, okay. You can and you can go. You can go find another. And you can find a burger to eat with your skinny ass. Because she like she like all of this bitch. Okay. She she will. Y'all gotta stop. She's barely two years. Why y'all doing this to each other? This is the one right here. What you doing? You coming with us? You got me on the phone. Why you doing this? 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 Why out of my house. I'm right here. Get your shit out of my house. Why are you calling people? Get the out of my house. This is Get out before I call the cops. Nah, you got me up. I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing my job. Oh, he's doing his job. Come on, you coming with us? He's doing his job. You said you're coming with us. He's doing his job. He's doing his job. Don't worry about what we're doing. Go to your little house and have a little lingerie. Why are you still doing all this? Go get your slut in the streets. Half naked. Goodbye. You Come get your later. You can get your Y'all can leave. Deuces. So it's like that. I mean, you make sure your ass catch an Uber. Y'all ass can get in that van. What is there to talk about? You talking I'm, to me? I'm talking what to you. What are you talking to me? Talk to tell, I'm, I'm gone. Was Lickety I'm through. split in the shower? Goodbye, no. bitch. Goodbye. Like I said, get your Lickety split in the shower. And I don't want to ever see your ass again. Bitch, why is you following me? I'm going to Why is you following me? Bitch, you don't want me. My Catch your Uber house? to my house. No, I'm going Catch right your here. Uber no. to my house. You don't talk about it without all these people around. No, it ain't nothing to talk about. So you don't want to talk? It ain't nothing so to talk about. So you need to get in the car with Peter. Yes, LaShawn. I'm going to get in the car with Peter. You too, you said you're going home. You too. Is there anything that can fix this or no? No. She left with you, love. Nah. Nah. We all make mistakes. She... No. That ain't no mistake. You don't mistakenly end up in your lingerie at another bitch house. You left with her. I didn't think you would. That's big. We at Cheetahs offer counseling. 
Like I said, you gotta she, meet in the middle though. You can't be tight. You gotta take care of her. I would it's maybe no consider ring. it. Ain't no friendship. Sean, I gotta be honest with you. I don't, don't want to do counseling, Peter. You gotta be honest. I don't want to do but it. You gotta listen to me. But I don't want to do it. You gotta take care of home. If you ain't giving home, I'm gonna take care of my home. At the end of the day, love is why we're here. And you wouldn't have left if you didn't love her. And she wouldn't be here if you didn't love her. You could act all you want. I say you two kiss and make up. No. <laughs>
With enough evidence of an ongoing affair, Justin has brought proof of his concerns. Fearing for his relationship, he prepares to observe his girlfriend's hidden agenda. How you doing tonight, D'Angelo? I'm doing good. I just want to say thanks for coming out, man. I know you're really busy with work and stuff lately. Well, listen, we conducted our investigation, came up with some very interesting findings. Are you ready to see that? Yes. All right. On this day of investigation, we follow Kendi when she arrives at the downtown Water Garden Park. Gets out of her car and starts jogging. Then she briefly stops for a moment. She's looking for somebody. That's when we see this gentleman come up and give her a hug. You recognize him? My best friend. Is that Juan? That's Juan. Tell me briefly about him. Continuing on, Juan walks with Kendi. They go out to the field. That's when she takes her jacket off. Uh, they start wrestling, being a little playful. Now this is when things get interesting. I don't really know too much about parkour, but it looks like Juan's doing a little bit extensive with the stretching. Kendi runs over, gets her clothes. That's when we have Juan meet up with a couple people. Do you recognize any of these gentlemen? Those are all our friends. So Kendi puts her jacket back on and exits. Now on this day of investigation, we are outside of a bar. That's when we see Kendi outside, Juan walks up, she gives him a good squeeze on the cheeks, and they walk in together hand in hand. He opens the door for her, and that's when we have them out back kissing. I can't believe this. He has a book on the table, and then she gets a phone call, and everything stops. You can see Juan's face, he looks like he's clueless. She's hurrying to get off the phone. That's when he jumps over the fence, takes off. It's just... You see it, now you believe it. I'm gonna call my detective, and I'm gonna see if there's been any movement on their location. And we're gonna go from there, all right? Okay. All right. All right, go ahead. All right, so they ended up going with their friends to this zombie walk. Uh, they've done the zombie walk. Now they're congregating in a park on the corner of Frog Morton and Knight. If you guys get here soon enough, we'll get them right here. All right, copy that. We're about one minute out. I'll see you soon. All right, see you in a second. Right, thanks, bye. Where are they at? Right there. White shirt, blue dress. Right in the middle. Right there. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right Right behind him. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Surveillance of you kissing no. him at the gym. I have it all. No. Oh. 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 Juan told me that D'Angelo was cheating on me the entire time, the past three months that we've been going out. And that's not true. What are you talking about? Yes, it is. No, it it's isn't. I have a whole investigation. That's true. We've been friends for six years. How could you do that? <laughs> There's no other girl. I checked and did an investigation on the whole. There's no other girl. Yes, there is. This is freaking ridiculous. What's going on? Why are you guys doing this? The f are you doing? No, you. What are you doing with him? No. You leave me for every day. All the time you go out and work. Provide. No. Provide. No. You. No. 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 What the f are you doing? We're so stupid. You're a whore. No. You're. How could you go behind me like that? Juan, just tell me what's been going on with this with, with this girl, Andy. Has she told you that she's had a boyfriend for two years? 
Over two years, man. You've loved her for over two years? You've been cheating on me? You've been cheating on me? I haven't done Jessica. I haven't done You have. No. You knew I cared about her. You knew you cared about her? You took her anyway. Coming up. But that's past the point, man. That's your best friend. You've known him for six years. He's been with other women. That's not true, though. I checked into that. You're someone else. Yeah, you. So you can you have nothing to say? You have nothing to say. You're just gonna stand there and let two best friends fight over you. Oh my god. Two best friends. They've known each other for six years. And look at them, they're kicking the out of each other because you cheated on him. What the f are you in this? Don't push me because you did something wrong. You cheated. You cheated. Stay out of this, damn it! You did this to yourself because you're a cheater. Why are you doing this? Stop! Why are you doing this? You cheated on him and you're lying! What the f are you doing? No, this is a little whore! Is this really worth it, man? You're a little piece of whore! Are you happy what you've done to two best friends? Shut up! Why are you even in this? You son of a bitch! Because you cheated on your boyfriend. Hey, I slept with her. I slept with her too. So now there's actually more people? No, there's actually more people. Are you sure about that? You sure about that? Yes, I swear. Is there anyone else that has not slept with her? Oh, I've been as good to you. I've checked you into all the you've been not as good, good to you. Been, oh my god, you've been gone for an hour a day. That's because he works his ass off for so he you. can provide for you. What are first you doing this for? I'm making this happen. Doing my job. This is so stupid. I cannot believe you do this to me. How could you honestly let this happen? These are two best friends and you started this whole situation. Because you lied and because you cheated. Please, no. damn it! No, please stop. Have you said what you wanted there? Have you got your I answers? I don't need this. So she has no explanation for you at all. Please stop. Why is all this going on right now? Listen, man, you, you two, you, you owe him an explanation. One, one, you at least owe your best friend something, an answer, an explanation, something, man. You didn't come all the way out here to embarrass these people on camera for no reason. Get the away! No! I don't want you, I don't want you in my life! Give them a second, hey, give them a second, give them a second to talk. As best friends, give them a second. Talk to him, he's at least as a friend. Dude, I know, I, I know it's a lot right now, but just come on, man. Listen to me, I got one right here, dude. If you need to ask him or get answers, just why. That's all he wants to know is why. Why what? Why would you go by my girlfriend? D'Angelo, where have you been? What the I've been working for ever. Working these long hour days to buy a engagement ring. No! Ball! Ball! No! What the ball?
Get the f out of here. You're supposed to be my brother. I don't need you. Follow me. It's not all right, man. Don't follow me. Please stop. Please stop. Nothing to say to you. Please. If you're that gullible to believe him over me, then it shows how much you trust me. Turn around and walk and never, ever try to talk to me again. If you care about me, you'll do that right now. Thank <laughs> you.